Sinhalese, known natively as Sinhala, Sinhalese, Simhala Sil, is the native language of the Sinhalese people, who make up the largest ethnic group in Sri Lanka, numbering about 16 million. Sinhalese is also spoken as a second language by other ethnic groups in Sri Lanka, totaling about 4 million. It belongs to the Indo-Aryan branch of the Indo-European languages. Sinhalese is written using the Sinhalese script, which is one of the Brahmic scripts, a descendant of the ancient Indian Brahmi script closely related to the Kadamba alphabet. Sinhalese is one of the official and national languages of Sri Lanka. Sinhalese, along with Pali, played a major role in the development of Theravada Buddhist literature. The oldest Sinhalese Prakrit inscriptions found are from the 3rd to 2nd century BCE following the arrival of Buddhism in Sri Lanka. The oldest extant literary works date from the 9th century. The closest relative of Sinhalese is the Maldivian language. Sinhalese is of two main varieties, written and spoken. Spoken Sinhalese is easier to learn because it has lost the rigidity and formality of grammar. Topic etymology Sinhala Simhala is a Sanskrit term, the corresponding Middle Indo-Aryan word is Sahala. The name is a derivation from Simha, the Sanskrit word for lion. Simhala is attested as a Sanskrit name of the island of in the Bhagavata Purana. The name is sometimes glossed as abode of lions, and attributed to a supposed former abundance of lions on the island. Topic history According to the chronicle Mahavamsa, written in Pali, Prince Vijaya and his entourage merged with two exotic tribes of ancient India present in Lanka, the Yaka and Naga peoples. In the following centuries, there was substantial immigration from eastern India Kalinga, Magadha, which led to an admixture of features of eastern Prakrits. Topic stages of historical development The development of the Sinhalese language is divided into four periods, Sinhalese Prakrit until 3rd century CE Proto-Sinhalese 3rd-7th century CE Medieval Sinhalese 7th-12th century CE Modern Sinhalese 12th century – present Topic Phonetic development The most important phonetic developments of the Sinhalese language include the loss of the aspiration distinction e.g. kanava to eat corresponds to Sanskrit kadati, Hindi kana the loss of a vowel length distinction, Long vowels in the modern language are due to loanwords e exam, to put the simplification of consonant clusters and geminate consonants into geminates and single consonants respectively e.g. Sanskrit vista time greater than Sinhalese Prakrit vita greater than modern Sinhalese vita Development of j, to, d, e.g. dala web corresponds to Sanskrit yala Western versus Eastern Prakrit features An example for a Western feature in Sinhalese is the retention of initial v, which developed into b in the Eastern languages, e.g., Sanskrit vimsati, 20, Sinhalese visi, Hindi bis. An example of an Eastern feature is the ending e for masculine nominative singular instead of Western o in Sinhalese Prakrit. There are several cases of vocabulary doublets, e.g., the words massa fly and maka flee which both correspond to sanskrit maxika but stem from two regionally different prakrit words makia and makika as in pali topic <laughs> pre 1815 sinhalese literature During the career of Christopher Reynolds as a Sinhalese lecturer at the SOAS, University of London, he extensively researched the Sinhalese language and its pre-1815 literature. The Sri Lankan government awarded him the Sri Lanka Ranjana Medal for this. He wrote the 377-page An Anthology of Sinhalese Literature up to 1815, selected by the UNESCO National Commission of Ceylon. Topic: Ecology. Topic. Substratum influence in Sinhalese According to Geiger, Sinhalese has features that set it apart from other Indo-Aryan languages. Some of the differences can be explained by the substrate influence of the parent stock of the Veda language. Sinhalese has many words that are only found in Sinhalese, or shared between Sinhalese and Veda and not etymologically derivable from Middle or Old Indo-Aryan. Common examples are kola for leaf in Sinhalese and veda, dola for pig in veda and offering in Sinhalese. Other common words are rara for wild duck, and gala for stones in toponyms used throughout the island. 
There are also high frequency words denoting body parts in Sinhalese, such as alava for head, kakula for leg, bela for neck, and kalava for thighs, that are derived from pre Sinhalese languages of Sri Lanka. The author of the oldest Sinhalese grammar, Siddhatsangarava, written in the 13th century CE, recognized a category of words that exclusively belonged to early Sinhalese. The grammar lists Naramba to see and Kalamba fort or harbor as belonging to an indigenous source. Kalamba is the source of the name of the commercial capital Colombo. Topic: <inaudible> Influences from neighboring languages. In addition to many Tamil loanwords, several phonetic and grammatical features present in neighboring Dravidian languages, setting today's spoken Sinhalese apart from its northern Indo-Aryan siblings, bear witness to the close interactions with Dravidian speakers. However, formal Sinhalese is more similar to Pali and medieval Sinhalese. Some of the features that may be traced to Dravidian influence are The distinction between short e, o and long e, o The loss of aspiration Left branching syntax The use of the attributive verb of kiana, to say, as a subordinating conjunction with the meanings, that, and, if, e.g., I know that it is new. I do not know whether it is new. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Foreign influence. As a result of centuries of colonial rule, modern Sinhalese contains some Portuguese, Dutch, and English loanwords. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Influences on other languages. Makanese Patwa or Macau Creole known as Patua to its speakers is a Creole language derived mainly from Malay, Sinhalese, Cantonese, and Portuguese, which was originally spoken by the Makanese people of the Portuguese colony of Macau. It is now spoken by a few families in Macau and in the Makanese diaspora. The language developed first mainly among the descendants of Portuguese settlers who often married women from Malacca and Sri Lanka rather than from neighboring China, so the language had strong Malay and Sinhalese influence from the beginning. Numerals Sinhalese shares many features common to other Indo-European languages. Shared vocabulary includes the numbers up to 10. Topic. Accents and dialects Sinhalese spoken in the southern province Gale, Matara and Hambatota districts uses several words that are not found elsewhere in the country, this is also the case for the central and north-central provinces and southeastern region Uva province and the surrounding area. For native speakers all dialects are mutually intelligible, and they might not even realize that the differences are significant. The language of the Veda people resembles Sinhalese to a great extent, although it has a large number of words which cannot be traced to another language. The Radia use another dialect of Sinhalese. Radia used to be a caste in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka no longer recognizes castes. Diglossia <inaudible> <inaudible> In Sinhalese there is distinctive diglossia, as in many languages of South Asia. The literary language and the spoken language differ from each other in many aspects. The written language is used for all forms of literary texts but also orally at formal occasions public speeches, TV and radio news broadcasts, etc., whereas the spoken language is used as the language of communication in everyday life see also Sinhala slang and colloquialism. As a rule the literary language uses more Sanskrit-based words. The most important difference between the two varieties is the lack of inflected verb forms in the spoken language. The situation is analogous to one where Middle or even Old English would be the written language in Great Britain. The children are taught the written language at school almost like a foreign language. Sinhalese also has diverse slang. Most slang words and terms were regarded as taboo and most were frowned upon as non-scholarly. However, nowadays Sinhalese slang words and terms, even the ones with sexual references, are commonly used among younger Sri Lankans. Writing system The Sinhalese script, Sinhala Hodia, is based on the ancient Brahmi script, as are most Indian scripts. 
The Sinhalese alphabet is closely related to South Indian Grantha alphabet and Khmer alphabet, taken the elements from the related Kadamba alphabet. The Sinhalese writing system is an abugida, where the consonants are written with letters while the vowels are indicated with diacritics on those consonants, unlike English, where both consonants and vowels are full letters, or Urdu, where vowels need not be written at all. Also, when a diacritic is not used, an inherent vowel, either a or is understood, depending on the position of the consonant within the word. For example, the letter k on its own indicates ka, either ka, or k. The various vowels are written ka, ka, ka after the consonant, ki, ki above the consonant, ku, ku below the consonant, k, k before the consonant, ko, ko surrounding the consonant. There are also a few diacritics for consonants, such as r. For simple, k, without a vowel, a vowel cancelling diacritic varama called halkirima is used, k. Several of these diacritics occur in two forms, which depend on the shape of the consonant letter. Vowels also have independent letters but these are only used at the beginning of words where there is no preceding consonant to add a diacritic to. The complete alphabet consists of 60 letters, 18 for vowels and 42 for consonants. However, only 57 16 vowels and 41 consonants are required for writing colloquial spoken Sinhalese Sinhala. The rest indicate sounds that have gotten lost in the course of linguistic change, such as the aspirates, are restricted to Sanskrit and Pali loan words. Sinhalese is written from left to right and the Sinhalese character set the Sinhalese script is only used for this one language. The alphabetic sequence is similar to those of other Brahmic scripts. A A A A I I U U R E E I O O O K K H G G N C C H J J H N U T T A T D N T T H D D H N P P H B B H M Y R L V S S S H L F Topic Phonology The presence of so-called prenasalized consonants, or half-nasal consonants. A short homorganic nasal occurs before a voiced stop, it is shorter than a sequence of nasal plus stop. The nasal is syllabified with the onset of the following syllable, which means that the moric weight of the preceding syllable is left unchanged. For example, tam, ba, copper contrasts with tamba, boil, f and, are restricted to loans, typically English or Sanskrit. They are commonly replaced by P and S as colloquial speech. Long is restricted to English loans. Topic: Morphology. Topic: Nominal morphology. The main features marked on Sinhalese nouns are case, number, definiteness, and animacy. Topic: Cases. Sinhalese distinguishes several cases. Next to the cross linguistically rather common nominative, accusative, genitive, dative and ablative, there are also less common cases like the instrumental. The exact number of these cases depends on the exact definition of cases one wishes to employ. For instance, the endings for the animate instrumental and locative cases, ati and laji, are also independent words meaning, with the hand, and near respectively, which is why they are not regarded to be actual case endings by some scholars. Depending on how far an independent word has progressed on a grammaticalization path, scholars will see it as a case marker or not. The brackets with most of the vowel length symbols indicate the optional shortening of long vowels in certain unstressed syllables. Topic. Number marking In Sinhalese animate nouns, the plural is marked with o, a long consonant plus u, or with la. Most inanimates mark the plural through disfix. Loanwords from English mark the singular with ek, and do not mark the plural. This can be interpreted as a singulative number. On the left-hand side of the table, plurals are longer than singulars. On the right-hand side, it is the other way round, with the exception of pa r. Street. Note that plus animate lexemes are mostly in the classes on the left-hand side, while animate lexemes are most often in the classes on the right hand. Topic: Indefinite article. 
The indefinite article is ek for animates and ak for inanimates. The indefinite article exists only in the singular, where its absence marks definiteness. In the plural, indefiniteness does not receive special marking. Topic. Verbal morphology Sinhalese distinguishes three conjugation classes. Spoken Sinhalese does not mark person, number or gender on the verb literary Sinhalese does. In other words, there is no subject-verb agreement. Topic. Syntax Left branching language see branching, which means that determining elements are usually put in front of what they determine see example below. An exception to this is formed by statements of quantity which usually stand behind what they define. Example, the four flowers, translates to mal hatter, literally, flowers four. On the other hand, it can be argued that the numeral is the head in this construction, and the flowers the modifier, so that a better English rendering would be a floral foursome. SOV subject -object -verb word order, common to most left branching languages. As is common in left branching languages, it has no prepositions, only postpositions. See ad position. Example: under the book translates to pot jaw, literally book under. Sinhalese has no copula. I am rich translates to mam po sat, literally I rich. There are two existential verbs, which are used for locative predications, but these verbs are not used for predications of class membership or property assignment, unlike English as. There are almost no conjunctions as English that are whether, but only non-finite clauses that are formed by the means of participles and verbal adjectives. Example. The man who writes books. Translates to. Pot lin minia, literally. Books writing man. Topic. Semantics There is a four-way deictic system which is rare, there are four demonstrative stems see demonstrative pronouns, me, here, close to the speaker, o, oh, there, close to the person addressed, r, there, close to a third person, visible, and e, there, close to a third person, not visible. Topic. Discourse Sinhalese is a pro-drop language, arguments of a sentence can be omitted when they can be inferred from context. This is true for subject—as in Italian, for instance—but also objects and other parts of the sentence can be dropped in Sinhalese if they can be inferred. In that sense, Sinhalese can be called a super pro-drop language, like Japanese. Example, the sentence Code I, literally, where went, can mean, where did I, you, he, she, we, go. Topic see also Sinhala honorifics Sinhala idioms and proverbs Sinhala keyboard Sinhala slang Sinhalese people Topic References Topic Bibliography Gare, James, Sinhala and Other South Asian Languages, New York 1998. Indrapala, Karthajesu 2007. The Evolution of an Ethnic Identity, The Tamils in Sri Lanka c. 300 BCE to c. 1200 CE. Colombo, Vijitha Yappa. ISBN 978-955-1266-72-1. Pereira, H. S., Jones, D. A Colloquial Sinhalese Reader in Phonetic Transcription. Manchester, Longmans, Green & Co. Van Driem, George Languages of the Himalayas, an Ethnolinguistic Handbook of the Greater Himalayan Region. Brill Academic Publishers. ISBN 90-04-10390-2. Further reading Clough, B. Sinhala English Dictionary 2nd ed. New Delhi, Asian Educational Services. Gare, James, Paolillo, John C. Sinhala. Newcastle, Munchen. Gare, James Studies in South Asian Linguistics. New York, Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-509521-9. Geiger, Wilhelm A Grammar of the Sinhalese Language. Colombo. Karunatalake, W.S. An Introduction to Spoken Sinhala. Colombo, Several New Editions. Zubair, Kala Ann
Sexual Violence and the Creation of an Empowered Female Voice. Gender and Language. Equinox. 9 2, 279 and n 317. doi 10.1558/genlv9i2.17909. Article on the use of slang amongst Sinhalese raggers. Topic external links. Charles Henry Carter, A Sinhalese English Dictionary. Colombo, The Salon Observer Printing Works, London, Propstein & Co., 1924, Learn Spoken Sinhala, The Most Unconventional Sinhala Learner's Guide ISBN 13-978-1983168857-1 Simhala Sabdakosa Karyamsaya. Sanksipta Simhala Sabdakasaya. Kalamba, Samskirtika Katayutu Pelabanda Departamentuva, 2007-2009. Madura Online English Sinhala Dictionary and Language Translator Caprica Sinhala Dictionary Sinhala Dictionary Resources Online Sinhala Dictionary Sinhala Script Sinhala Dictionary Beta. Sinhala for iOS Sinhala Dictionary for Android